Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Super Retro Championship here at Lydon Hill. And well, this is, for me, my favorite, favorite class here this weekend, that is for sure. Uh, on pole position then is the number 99 of John Cross in that Lancia Stratos. Oh, what an absolute epic motor that is. We've then got Josh Durkins in second in the Ford Escort Mark I. Uh, absolute worldie of a car. Just an incredible bit of kit, that's for sure. We've then got Barry Stewart on the front row of the grid as well in that Porsche. It's dark here at Lydon Hill. We got some of the world's most famous historical rally cross rally cars here, and we're going to see flames. I don't know which one's my favorite, but old cars, flames, I'll take it. We're at Lydon Hill. This is going to be a golden generation race. No joker lap for these drivers this time round. Three laps, here we go. And we are green light racing here in Stratos. Gets an absolutely lightning start then. It looks like Ray Morgan in the 114 has got a fantastic start as well. He's in the Ford Escort Mark III, uh, but ultimately he's actually filtered a bit further back here. So he actually is going to end up in seventh position. Looked like he was going to make a run then for a top three, and it's not quite worked out. The Volkswagen Beetle, though, of James Harold is in P2. What a start it is for Harold. Herbie Harold through then the Devil's Elbow we go. And you can see Josh Sturkins then just, whoa, Josh Sturkins off the circuit, into the grass. Again, lots of drivers really taking the, the proper rallycross approach here by trying to go onto every surface possible. Josh Sturkins indeed uh, being one of those drivers. Side-by-side -side action in the background uh, as well was David Irwin was just uh, making a little bit of a run there on the outside of the Sierra. Brilliant stuff though. And actually the lead of this race, well, the Lancia Stratos then is down to P5. It's not a great start here for the Lancia Stratos. It is actually the Porsche of Barry Stewart that leads the way here with the Volkswagen B tool in P2. A nice little run here from Vincent Bristow though in the BMW as well. Looking to try and get up towards that top two but that that Beetle is an absolute rocket ship in a straight line. What a show they're putting on for us here ladies and gentlemen. Up Harry Hill then for the second to last time. Flames coming out of the Beetle. Josh Sturkins, Sturkins then using every inch of the circuit to try and get up to that top three and it's now Porsche versus the Volkswagen Beetle. And I tell you what, the Beetle's going to make a move up the inside. So James Harold then does take the lead of this race. And as we've got one lap to go, can the Porsche potentially get back up towards the lead here? And watch out for Josh Sturkins as well. He's got a very quick car underneath him, especially in a straight line. But as it stands, then it's James Harold leading the way. Guest driver this weekend and absolutely showcasing the skill set, showcasing the car's potential here in its 2021. The Porsche then takes the inside line through the Devil's Elbow, and I think Josh Sturkins is going to be able to quite easily take P2. There we go. Flames coming out then of the Beetle as well. Oh, beautiful to see. And it is merely just a couple of corners to go here. And James Harold is going to take the checkered flag. I think it's side by side in the background as well between, I think, Ray Morgan. Does Ray Morgan make a move up the inside on, uh, yeah, on indeed the Porsche? I think he does. And as we come across the line, then it is going to be James Harold that takes the checkered flag. An incredible performance to take the victory. Uh, it is indeed going to be second then for Sturkins. Morgan in third, Bristow in fourth, Stewart in fifth then. We've got Ewan and Moroni in sixth and seventh. Tapscott, uh, Pasco, Davey and Cross are your drivers. What a performance it was. It's a Volkswagen Beetle, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's happy here at Lyndon Hill.